Thompson Fernandez. Uh, yeah, if you could. Okay. Right, well, hang on for a sec. What? Man, hang on for a sec. Okay. Oh, do you just have, is it on your person? Okay. Okay. You can almost step out and talk on the patio. Just come over here. Someone touch you on the patio. Yeah. Uh, put the gun away. I asked him if I No, put the gun away. Oh, where? You didn't tell Please, me where? Please, put, put it away. Oh, you told me to come out no. with you. No. Put the gun away. Sir, I asked you if you wanted me to put okay. it in the back room, and you said no. no just, I asked for okay. instructions. Just so when you, when, in the future, when you call 911, yeah. you know, please come to your house. I open carry. It's you, always on me. That's yes, why I'm taking it, off. It's your prerogative, but it's domestic is the most dangerous thing we ever go to. Yes, I know. Okay? Don't have a gun on you or in the house, in plain view, where we have to be around it. I, I wear it all the time. Prefer, I just had it on me. I was taking it off, so I had to ask it, you as a courtesy. Let's just step outside and do this up on the patio. So I was doing the right thing by asking him. I was yes, taking, and I said... Step outside. I us. asked okay, you to take outside. it in the bathroom, and you said no. No, oh, you said you kept it in your house. Uh, no. Well, I was. I did. What was I the said, I said no. I wanted to put it in the back room. Okay. So <laughs> that's what was my choice. I wanted to have it away. Okay. So Gosh. today, then what had happened, or whatever, the you feel as though this has been yeah. violent. Okay. Right. So I need you to, uh, as you said, that you wanted to make a statement. Yeah. About that. Um, is it better to do it verbally, like on the phone? Because Detective Stewart says it might be good to do it in person, but she says there's not a person in person there doing it right now in the office or at the police station. Well, right now, we're, we're going to respond where the officers uh -huh. respond to these things. Yeah. So there's probably the detective that probably told you that. But you just make the statement of where you think the violation was today, or a, yes, or whatever you want to just put in there. That's out the mail right here. Also, give you this blue card as well. I have that, yeah, already. Okay, you do? Yeah. Okay. I still got him around you. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. So if he was right there so, on the sidewalk, does that count? Should I even bother doing it? Every time he does it, like he was right over by the Liberty Bell Center last night, and he threw a pair of pants at me when I was walking by. I was doing a security check at Liberty Wells because it looked like someone was breaking in the fence line because they keep cutting it open. And he, I walked by, I didn't, I can't see in the dark room. I got right next to him because when I realized who it was, and he threw a pair of jeans at me that you, and also, in, in addition to that, so if you want to write this stuff up here, right? Exactly. Uh, which on. one? Which is yeah. it? Should well, I even bother to? Well, just just how you feel that this whole violation of protective order is. Is this a protective order? But is, but is it, yeah, but protected out just how many feet away? Like, if he's riding by just this or riding back, is that a violation? He knows it's my building. I think so. if it's a protected address, I don't think he could. Or does he have to cross over? I want to know the details. I don't want to waste my time. Did you get time. a protective order handed to you when you went to court? Did they give you paperwork? Yeah, I have a, a the protective order. The paperwork that he received should have specific details. It doesn't yeah. show on there. It shows, uh, like, property, and it doesn't show any amount of speed or anything. It's really confusing. He's allowed to go anywhere. He's not the street. He's on the road with a sidewalk. If he comes, if he, if he, if he runs into you at the supermarket or at a park, he's his requirement is to, to retreat, to leave you alone, to leave you alone. Your group can go wherever you want. So, we, I don't, since we're in proximity to each other really closely, he, we, there's times where we often run into each other accidentally because we have no choice of our own. I can tell when that happens. There are other times when it's a very different thing, and I can tell by his body language and demeanor, demeanor. When he is seeing me from behind, and he's watching me, and he puts himself in my proximity for a purpose, whether to intimidate or um, stir up whatever, and like get me kind of worried or anxiety with it. I'm not afraid of him anymore. I'm getting more irritated and frustrated that he continues to do this, especially that thing last night and the thing with Jerry, a neighbor who's now concerned about his stuff being stolen because he's wandering up behind me. That's why I carry a gun a lot and the body cam, I got the freaking body cam because he keeps doing this and he seems to dodge every security camera that's in every building everywhere. So did you hear that? So he, he can't travel on the sidewalk, right? So we can stand out here and do No, not, not that, but it's not the uh, oh, but if he's on foot, it's different. Uh, it's annoying or harass or stalk or follow you. you know, all those things are violations. Oh, he's done that. Uh, but that's where we need you to write it down on a piece of paper. Okay. Because you have no evidence of anything other than your word. And no, they, they're not going to do anything about it unless you have a written statement. So without the evidence, it's still okay. You guys will take it and it will be considered serious? No, we, just have, we, need, we need you to write a statement. Yeah. We need evidence of a crime that has occurred. It's not just your statement. We have other evidence or other independent witnesses and see it. But they won't tell. I asked them if they that's, would tell us. That's, that's 
we can't just arrest anybody based on what someone says. We okay. want to help you. Okay? I know, I know you do. I, so the thing if you is, have is surveillance people, footage or camera footage, pictures of them? I tried. I cannot get any. I've okay. asked certain um, houses in River Rock to provide it. He has circumvented the cameras but, and but disabled we, them. But, we, but we, the first thing is, is the DA will never do anything at all unless you write a written statement about what's happening. But they might do something if there's a statement at least. They at least they have a paper trail. Okay. Paper trail for what I end up dead later on. No, but I mean, we take it seriously, but you know, that's what happens. So it's so a statement about what's happened in the last couple of days, why you believe that he's following you, what he's been doing, if he said well, anything to you, is. where it happened, you know, I why, mean, how you knew it was him, all that stuff. Well, because was, he was right there. Yeah. And he's, I, everyone knows it is. That needs to be in the paper, on the, on the, on the statement. Okay? And I asked Jerry over at the duplex over there if he had a camera footage and he asked the mm -hmm. landlord. And the landlord said, I don't have camera footage from that day. So I'm talking about the check. But what happens if there's no camera footage ever and we just have to no camera footage? Is, it, is there a memory being charged to press? Am I out of luck? comes around and violates the order and trying to document it with your phone. Okay. Okay? Here you, here you go, man. I just so, feel like this is like enough. It's yours is. You take time on that, okay? Also, I'm just going to ask you what, some questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. Next time, time, next time, so I'm very second, clear. For the validity assessment, you need to mute your camera. Yep. You advise her what the questions are. And you can explain that you're meeting your camera for the purposes of it. Okay. Oh, he's in training. Okay, that's why. Okay. So earlier, I was oh, trying to be very clear because last that week, a tougher card on Sunday. Private. I had to pull my gun and almost shoot a guy because he was attacking a woman a dog and it was violent. He attacked me. I have cracked ribs. I had to almost chamber up and pull the trigger, but finally all the cops got there in time. First time I've ever had to do that. So I take carrying a gun very seriously. So when he walked in and I had it on me, which I do all the time, I asked him if I should put it in the back bedroom and it wasn't clear. No, I said no. I said no. Let me step out of your, your house when I was coming out. No, you know, didn't know what to do. So I was like, uh, do I go forward or backward? The best thing to do is to... If you expect the police to come to your house, put your guns away so we don't have to deal with it. Because I have had guns pulled on me at civil assist for getting your dog back from my ex-girlfriend. I've had guns pulled on me for all kinds of stuff. So we're just bringing a gun to, I have a gun present when the police are there. But I always have it on me, it's my home, so Okay, what I'm saying is that if you want the police to come to your house and come inside your home and speak with you in a safe environment, when we don't know who you are, what your business is, we want to help you, but don't have a gun on you. That's what I'm saying. It complicates things seriously. I know, I understand and it's that. And it's not a good practice. Your, your, your constitutional right is to have a firearm, right. but if you're going to ask the police to come and speak with you about a domestic-related incident, put the gun in a safe. Okay, well... That's as simple as it is. And that's just a good, safe, but, it's, um, you need to have a way to secure your firearm inside your residence so it doesn't get stolen mm -hmm. and the child doesn't get it. Yeah. You'd be responsible for firearm owner, okay? Right, and I don't have kids. We, it's just me and him. We have our own guns. We don't well, you have, have a, a, a sign in your window that says you have a firearm, so if people want to get your gun, they're going to break down your door and take your gun and sit on the coffee table. Yeah. So lock it up. So now, now if you're, he's muted for the, the, the child, he's asking questions, oh, so we're going to mute as well for that. Yep. So what do you want me to do? I just, I okay.
Statement, you don't have to. I do, but uh, when do I find out that anything's going to have to actually take on it? Yeah. We are limited in what our ability, we want to help you, but we are limited in what our ability to do our job based on the Constitution. Okay? The Constitution is very I important. Know. Limitations, limitations. So we have to have probable cause to affect any sort of arrest for someone in violation of any law. Okay? So that's why we need evidence. And that's simple as it is. But this is considered evidence, but if there's no camera or someone that witnessed it won't say anything or something, is it still valid to you guys? Does it well, matter? It, it's, it's, it's a, it, we have to have a evidence, either it, happens, it, ha, it ha, has to happen in front of us, or it has to be something that is substantiated by independent witnesses or video evidence. Photographs. So, so if there's never any video evidence or a witness will testify, I'm doing this for no reason. No. We, no reason. But the thing is, we can't just go off your statement alone. We have to have something else besides that. A reason person had to entertain honest and strong suspicion that the person violated the law. Okay? Before cameras existed or videotaping all that, how did you guys enforce it? The was, it was just, I mean, honestly, the same situation. We. We, oh, if it's just he right said, she said, there's there's nothing preventing somebody from lying. Oh, okay. I'm glad they take a lie detector test. I no, but I just, I just want you to understand that. That's why it's important that we, if there's a violation of any law, that we have some sort of evidence. Okay. Well, this is good, but I'm not sure you you called us today because you said that you violated the order right you previously last reported night, you previously reported the incident so talk about what happened last night and today i didn't report that one last night, well, last whatever, night whatever, happened. whatever happened last night or today that is a violation you you believe is a violation of the order it's all three of us just put it here just document whatever you haven't reported to the police recently that you believe is a violation of the order, okay? Okay. Oh, there is one person that will uh, test, uh, testify or do uh, a statement regarding 
the thing um, the other day when he, I was talking to Jerry. Jerry said he would do it for me. You know, the camera footage is working. We don't have that. When you talk to detectives and the DA, that's somebody that, that they can follow up. Okay, okay. so you guys won't go over there if you hit, they do that? Well, there's, there, you're talking about a bunch of different violations, okay? We're yeah. here specifically for the violation you talked about that happened last night and today. Okay. Okay? It's a separate crime. Okay, so if you're already in touch with the detectives or the DA with regarding that further previous violations of, of, of domestic violence, then... But Jerry's not reported. I, 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 I didn't bother because it was with it. So should I plug that one with these two? If these three incidents is together, I'll mention it here. Because I didn't report that one. I don't think I did. I didn't have the police numbers. I don't remember. Um, yeah, so at any, at any point did he come to your house? Well, he rode by, okay, what I said, he rode by today, and then he rode by again after seeing me. Okay. And then last night... Did he speak to you? He said something, and I don't know what he said, because he always tries to say stuff to me, and I don't know why he doesn't, okay. like, what he does, because I can't hear him. I'm like, what? What are you saying? So, like, I, I was asking him. Are you 100% sure he was speaking to you? Oh, yeah, there's no one else out here. He, he was okay. very close. So, then document that, what happened in your... That he drove by at a certain time and a certain date. That he's and he, he saw you, and then he said something you couldn't understand, and you believed it was directed towards you. Okay, so this is a very going to be very long and elaborate. I mean, how long do you want me to do this without much detail? Do you want me to go inside and come back or what? I don't want you to go back inside right now. Because you have a gun in there. Right, which I just didn't have to bring the gun out. I just, I just <laughs> concentrate on this. It's just it's a very detailed. And there's multiple situations, and it's like there's not a lot of room here. If you'd like to complete this at a later time and call us to pick it up, then that's something we, we, you can do. We can document what you've told us. Can the I add on, add on to it on the website, the, um, whatever you call the supplemental report? But we can document what you've told us on a, in a report. You're saying that what time last night did he come by? He did not come by here last night. It was Liberty Wells. You want me to put that one in here too, right? Liberty Wells? Yeah. Did you did you hear everything I mentioned before about so, the counter? So this is this this is the thing. This is why, like the 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 violation has to he he can run into you by chance in places. Okay. He, well, he can't come right up within inches of me and just do whatever he wants. Right? No. So if there's a specific violation that had a specific location and time, specific actions, document that. There was one today, one last night. One Document that. It doesn't need to be elaborate. It needs to be a date and time and location and what he did. Okay. And then okay? I can spend some time with We don't need to know if it was dark and stormy outside. We don't need to know if it, what he had for breakfast. We I just need to know that. date, time, hard. location, and what he did. Well, I, can't, I have to get my phone to look at the, you know, and see if there's a, there's things that might take a Pick this up right on a tomorrow or something. Or should I give it to Detective Stewart? I talk to her every day anyway. Huh? What do you say? So, I mean, there's I, I don't want to, I'm not going to go into all the details that you said and all that ridiculous shit, but I feel like uh, there should be, I should write this out the way you type all the information to my phone. If I call someone uh, to report it, it would be in my phone or uh, in my timeline in Google. I could see what time it was. I don't always remember the exact time, so I try to get very close. So if you want times and stuff, those are in my phone. If it was last night, at 9, roughly 9 p.m., I was at this location and I observed so-and-so, and so-and-so you know, -so came close to me and said something to me. So how That's often, an example. How often can I be? I don't want to be off two time-wise. I mean, it's two hours. You don't have to be exact. You can, you can refine it later on. Okay. I just don't want anything that could be, like, caught if it's like, I don't want to be inaccurate. I, want, I like to be as detailed as possible, so. Okay. Well,
could, you, you could write about like what, how the, how, how it was here today, telling you about last night. I mean, it, it just you could talk about, I don't know, seven o'clock last night. Well, I, I did that one, but the other day. And then you could just say right here on this day. But the other day, but uh, Jerry's, I don't remember if that was three days ago, five days ago. Well, I'd have to or you could probably, but we, what we want is what you said today and last night. Oh, no, but he told me all three, so that's what I'm trying to do. I just wanted to get something written down, ma'am. And, okay. and, you know, if it was, it's, it's been a long uh, process for you, and it's been very unfortunate you've been in the situation. Three thirty two. Three thirty two. Um, I, I don't even put this in there because he does it intentionally, but he sees me at a distance and he intentionally does lie towards me. And from behind me, so I can't control that. I'm code 4, I'm with 422. Well, I know what you have to do, but I forget me, and there's so many times that it's not. And if it can't be proven, then it's just... <laughs> Well, you guys gonna go? You okay? Sorry, I'm not Huh? 
Will they tie the case numbers together? If there's like, there's times I've called in the violations and times I didn't bother because I didn't think it would be worth it. Will they correlate them all together and somehow like... It's all documented in our CAD system and they're all connected. Right? Okay, so they'll all connect together. It's not again like... Not every, every single violation allegation is a separate violation of the law, so there's a different case. Alright, but it'll all be used together as a whole picture, right? Potentially, yeah. Okay. What's that? There's a dead body next door. You think there is? What? Hmm? You think there is? Oh, I thought there was a dead dog or something. It's not. There's a dog shirt right there. That's in the alley. Okay, my dog has that.